Brazil's controversial populist president, Jair Bolsonaro, was elected four years ago, and it was thanks partly to the votes of black and brown Christian women. This year, he is standing for re-election. His opponent will be the former president, Luis Inácio Lula da Silva. One of the unknowns is whether the president will be able to rely on the votes of this group of women again. Our global religion reporter, Lebo de Seco, reports. Sunday night service in Brazil's capital, Brasilia. Tonight's headline speaker, Pastor Raquel Prado. Nearly 70% of evangelical Christians like her voted for the controversial President Jair Bolsonaro in 2018. The largest grouping within this movement in Brazil is women of color, making them crucial in the upcoming October election. Ele defende a família acima de tudo, né? E Deus acima de todos. So Bolsonaro says that there's no such thing as racism in, in Brazil. It doesn't exist. What do you think? Mas eu não considero em grande proporção de verdade aqui no Brasil não. O que falta para a mentalidade desse povo que é negro é parar de dar desculpa e acreditar que eles são capazes e não ficar dando desculpa do racismo. Nicknamed the Trump of the Tropics, Bolsonaro once told a congresswoman he wouldn't rape her because she wasn't worth it. But he also connected religion and what he would deliver. Brazil acima de tudo, Deus acima de todos. But Bolsonaro's appeal was also tied to what was happening in Brazil at the time. Quando ele 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 se apresenta como candidato à presidência, à presidência em 2018, ele sabe que ele está atuando num cenário de múltiplas crises no Brasil. Crise econômica, crise da segurança pública, de muita violência, de muitas mortes por homicídios no Brasil e uma crise moral. Ele não mobiliza necessariamente um público estritamente religioso, ele mobiliza uma população pedindo respostas a, a essas crises. But things are changing. Women like 20-year-old Tachi are part of an evangelical movement against Bolsonaro. With more than 300,000 followers on TikTok alone, Tachi is an influential voice, with politicians from all sides trying to reach voters like her. I pedi pessoa de político, principalmente para reger um um país, para ser presidente de um país, por ser desrespeitoso, por ser um homem machista e até mesmo sexista e misógino e assim vai a lista é enorme. This is a home where faith runs deep and it's Bolsonaro's arch rival, the former president Lula da Silva, who this family is backing. A corruption conviction got Lula kicked out of the race last time around, but that's since been annulled on a technicality, clearing the way for him to run once more. The political stage looks set for a showdown between Bolsonaro and Lula come October's election. While it's too early to know who'll win, experts say that these are the voices that will decide the outcome. Lebu Di Seco, BBC News, Brazil.